Hey guys, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated every time I make a new video. Thanks, let's begin. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian and I am the Horror Shark. And today I'm going to be talking about a film that I recently, as in last night, just watched. Now, I know 88 Films does some great releases, but I don't have many of them. I don't really... I like having Region 2, but not as much as Region A. I do have a Region Free player, but most of their releases are Region 2. But this selection of films, uh, this is number, I believe, 33 in the uh, Asia collection. Um, most of their films are Region B, but this, in the, I think this line of collection is Region A and B. And I was happy to grab it because it looked awesome. And I did. And it was awesome. That is Human Lanterns. Let me turn on the light, see if it makes a difference. Because got to really... That is way too bright. There we go. Yeah, look at that beautiful cover. Now, Human Lanterns... It's an oddity. It, it's like a slasher film. Mixed with... um. Martial arts. This is a Hong Kong Shaw Brothers film. Shaw Brothers are well known for their martial arts, kung fu action films. Um, this has a slight horror edge, or actually a strong horror edge, where the killer is making lanterns out of human skin. So he takes people, skins them alive, and like they're still alive while he's skinning them. It's pretty messed up. And then he, uh, Makes lamps out of them. Because there's a uh, rivalry between two distinguished gentlemen. But they have this rivalry. And they want to have the best lantern in the public eye. So they're having this little little contest. And so... One of them reveals the big unveiling of their lantern. And it's, it's gorgeous. But... The other one hasn't really shown off this yet, and he actually hasn't even had it made yet. So he seeks out somebody who he had a past with, which made the lovely lanterns. He gets into making a lantern, but this guy has ulterior motives. That's a little bit of a downfall in this movie. Um, I, I kind of think it would work if he didn't know who the killer was right away, but you get a feeling of who the killer is going to be right away, then about ten minutes later, you know who the killer is. It works and it doesn't because this killer is wearing a mask, like a really creepy uh, demon monkey lion mask. It's really creepy. It's on the cover. It's right up there. It's even creepier in the film, I feel, than the drawing, which is hard to do. And his movements are really like quick and janky. He's wearing a mask, so if he's not revealing himself to his victims, then why should he reveal himself to the audience? He didn't really need that, but I think it had to be done anyways because of the storyline. Um, he's making lanterns out of human skin. It would have been a big twist if it was somebody else who was trying to frame everybody. But in this, it's just one guy who he had a past with that's framing him and making him and his enemy look bad um, and like the crazy ones. So, what do I like about human lanterns? Wow. This is a beautiful movie to look at. Absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This is apparently a higher budget film from Hong Kong. Hong Kong? From Hong Kong. And in that we get a lot of great shots. The film just looks beautiful. Larger than life on this small set. Even the clustered city streets are uh, alive with color and pizzazz. It's just, it's amazing to see. It's got this d defining uh, characteristic about it. Like, it's always got these neon lights, and it's from 1982, so of course there's neon lights. Yeah, it's just amazing to look at. The film is actually very violent, too. Um, not only when he skins people alive, which is disturbing in of itself, uh, but the way he goes about killing some people. Like, so... Um, there's one person, the first one he actually skins, he takes, like, this blade that's, like, on the cover right up here, the little blade, puts it on her head, and, and, uh, spraying everywhere. But he also, when he wears, when he dons the costume, it's, uh, 
equipped with, like, clawed gloves and hooved feet or something. And he slashes at people with those claws and decapitates them with, I think, the same blade. But the claws do cause serious damage. So he's just like, a, his whole body's a weapon, pretty much. And the film really showcases his energy, I guess. Because he's jumping around, quick movements, and uh, there's one part where he's going on a wheel that's spinning. I forget what you call them exactly. It's like a turbine kind of thing. Um, but it's like one of those old-fashioned spinning wheels for water. And he's just jumping in the little grooves in between the wheel. Just like... As the wheel's turning, he's just he's a very coordinated killer. And I like that. It's not something you traditional. It's not something you traditionally see. And he also fights... Because he learned a special karate skill, I guess. An evil form of martial arts, according to the main character near the end of the movie. He doesn't need a blade to fight his blade-wielding enemies. He's just able to fight with his bare hands. Well, paws, I guess. Or claws. So, I think this movie is just an amazing spectacle. Um, I would have liked things to be handled a little differently with the killer in terms of revealing... Because by the end, they find out who it is, but we've known all along. And it's not even, he's not even really playing the two at that point, because they're playing each other. They're like, oh yeah, my totally kidnapped them. Or, uh, which never went anywhere. He's like, oh yeah, um, free me, I kidnapped them. I was working with the enemy. Um, but he was, he was the ring man. And it's like, that, that doesn't lead to anything. They don't even get arrested at that point. So it's like, Okay, definitely a must-watch, though. It's a very uh, different kind of movie. Lots of martial arts. Like, you would think, oh, it's a slash movie about a guy skinning people. Uh, we'd be kind of grounded. No, these guys are flying through the air. It's very mystical and fantasy-heavy in terms of the fighting. And I just... I love you. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just an interesting watch. I'm not really familiar with Sharp Brothers. I did buy the box set to get equipped to get better acquainted with it and see the. I watched most of the first movie in that set. I got to finish watching it. King Boxer, I think it's called. But this is a separate release from 88 Films. Beautiful restoration. It looks like it's just popping with color, which it is. It just pops with color. So if you're not into foreign martial arts action movies with a sprinkle of uh, slash or horror movie elements I wouldn't watch this it's not your cup of tea but if you're willing to give any kind of movie a chance and if you do like martial arts action movies uh, with some horror elements then I'd say this is right up your alley definitely pick it up I know I did it's right here Thank you all for watching, and Lion Brian Gatto, the horror shark. Make sure to like, comment on, as well as share this video. Like my Facebook fan page and support me on Patreon, or even a dollar a month. We'll help keep this channel going on strong, and I greatly appreciate it. Plus, you get access to body counts and other music videos that you cannot get on YouTube because of copyright and age restriction. Monetary support. If you want to support the channel through PayPal, horror show 37 at gmail.com, I greatly appreciate that, too. But if you don't want to support me with any money, just hit that notification bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And as always, subscribe!